My girlfriend said something to me yesterday that felt like a punch to the gut. Me, 17 male, and my girlfriend, also 17, have been going out 8 and a bit months. We didn't have sex together straight away and first did it only a few weeks ago. I was a virgin before that, so I'm not experienced at all and so far I've not been able to make her come. Before dating me, my GF was dating my brother. It was awkward at first, but we are all okay now. Anyway so last night I tried my best to make her come, but in the end she told me to just stop so I did. Then she said your brother turned me on so much more than you do. I was so shocked by her saying that I didn't know what to say back. She got dressed and left the house and we haven't spoken yet. I just feel so confused about how I feel. I know I'm not as attractive as my brother, but I didn't think she would say that. Am I just being a baby and getting upset over nothing? I understand she's probably fed up and she might have just said it in the moment. I, 25 female, told my boyfriend, 29 male, about sexual abuse in my childhood and he broke up. My boyfriend broke up with me after 2 years, after I decided to open up about incest done by my father in my childhood. I'm really upset and it feels like I'm being punished for something I had no say in. When I told him he was really silent and said back quote it's horrible. And I said it was and said that I've gone to therapy for it. Also that I think he is a great boyfriend and it has helped me a lot how he is. But I could tell he looked uncomfortable and he said he was tired and wanted to sleep. I felt a lump in my stomach since he seemed to withdraw but told myself it's a shock for him and to give him time. Then two days later he broke up saying he can't deal with it. I feel dirty and like I have a tag on my forehead I can't remove. I know logically this is his reaction and I'm innocent Anne. I'm blabbering but I don't know what to do. I thought maybe if I give him time maybe he will come around. Edit. I see a lot of comments regarding that because I still have contact with my father. My ex is confused by that. I can totally understand that he will be confused and feel bad. But I feel there might be some misunderstanding here too. Incest is extremely complex. He is after all my dad. I don't have a lot of contact with him. I've met him for holidays mostly. I've had advice from the people that helped me on the incest center. They said that whether I have contact with him or not is totally up to me. It's not a fault on me and he is my dad. That I shouldn't feel guilty having contact. So please know that, but I can understand my ex and of course this would be hard for him. Edit 2, I'm going to cut contact with my father completely. It's gonna destroy the family, but all the thoughts I have now, comments here, my ex-boyfriend. I just can't. I'd never let future children near him regardless. I've had a hard night, and so many things about it has come back to me, but I understand my ex. I still hope he will come around, but me deciding. To not keep in touch with father is regardless of ex coming back or not. My boyfriend, 35 male, drugged me, 26 female, with Benadryl because we got into an argument before our road trip and he wanted me to sleep the whole time. Monday we decided to make the 8 I shower drive back to our home state and quarantine there instead for a few months. Right before leaving, we got into a big fight because I wanted to stay at my mother's house for a while. He doesn't want me to, among other things I won't get into. Well, before leaving we decided to eat dinner, so we didn't have to stop anywhere. Fast forward to our drive, and not long after hitting the road I passed out. Don't even really remember falling asleep. Woke up one time for a while, drank some Gatorade which he gave me, and then I fell asleep again. I thought this was extremely weird, because I wasn't tired hardly at all, and we didn't even leave super early. I kept commenting on how weird it was that I was tired the whole drive and slept 90% of it. Yesterday the tension eased a bit and he made the offhanded comment that he wishes he could drug me more when I act out and argue with him. I ask him what he's talking about. Proceeds to tell me he put Benadryl in my drink and that's why I slept so he didn't have to deal with me. He literally said this as though it wasn't that big of a deal. I'm still reeling from the conversation and completely flawed. I don't know if I'm overreacting or not but something tells me I'm not and it's extremely fucked up to put medicine in drinks. I don't know what to do. Update. Post it on Thrawama1 if anyone sees this due to the 48 hour rule. 
just wanted to go ahead and post and let y'all know I'm okay. Update 2. Here was the post that got removed. Holy shit, y'all. I haven't been on Reddit since I posted my original here, and I did not expect this. I had to make an extra account with similar name to post because of the 48 hour thing, but I know a lot of people were genuinely worried about me, so I wanted to go ahead and post an update, sorry if that's not allowed. Thank you guys so much, I can't even believe the support slash response I got. I ended up calling my brother and telling him about it and asking him how I should handle it and he got in his car to come get me before I even finished telling him what all had happened. Him freaking out more than anything else made me realize that I wasn't overreacting. I didn't tell my boyfriend I was leaving until my brother was parked on the street and I just walked out with a few things. So now I'm in a messy breakup situation where he's already tried to come by my mom's house even though I told him I didn't want to see him and that I'd get my stuff eventually, both from his parents, house where he's currently at and his actual house. Things are gonna be weird to figure out, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm totally okay, thank you. I can't reply to everyone who reached out slash messaged, so I hope you guys see this and know I appreciate it. Entitled kid chokes me while his mom is watching, then tries to make me give him my PS4 because I punched him. This is my first story here, please be gentle. Also, this story is more about the kid than the parent, but the parent was supporting the behavior so. R cast, ek, obvious, m, obvious, me, super obvious, neighbors 1 and 2. Two neighborhood kids. Note that the neighbors are actually pretty cool, the ek was just older than them, and so had some authority. And so it begins. One summer day last year, I had just turned 14, I was playing some basketball with these two kids from my neighborhood in their driveway. Their family is pretty rich, so they have a fully paved driveway big enough to be a sizable court. It's just me and them for about half an hour, until Satan's son himself came over from down the street. This kid is the really stereotypical little shit who made the select soccer team three years ago and still thinks that he runs a place. So we let him join the game and everything is fine for a bit. I'm a little bit on the ahem bigger side, but I'm really strong. So I play really well as a center, posting up and that. And the Ek is guarding me, and he's getting worked. He's shorter and not as strong, so he's getting dominated. Here's a major incident. I've just grabbed a loose ball, and I'm running back towards the basket. The other kid gets back before me, and stops my drive. So I start to back him down again. He must have just been really frustrated by him not getting a chance on defense, so he thinks up a plan. At this point I was wearing a hoodie and the fucker grabs my hood from behind and pulls as hard as he can. I, not expecting my airflow to be cut off, especially while I'm breathing hard, start to panic. I can't shake him off of my back. I don't know how long he's hanging on, but it felt like a whole 45 seconds. That may not seem like that long, but I'm freaking the fuck out, so it feels like forever. An eternity later, his grip loosens, and I finally get him off. I'm fucking fired up, so I punch him right in the nose. Definitely not as hard as I could, but it certainly would have hurt a lot. This little crap. However, he drops like he's out cold. Meanwhile I'm on my knees trying to get my breath back. He's bawling his eyes out, he's rolling and screaming and all that, being the melodramatic turd that he is, but his mom is running over, and it was that moment, where I knew I was ducked. Now, sometime between when he started, and when I socked him, his mother came out, but she's the typical I want to speak to the manager white upper middle class mom who volunteers to be the head of the PTA every year, and goes to Starbucks 20 times a day, and the EK is very much her son. EM, oh my god, redacted, are you okay, what did you do to him, me, he just nearly choked me out, so I punched him, EM, why would you do that, you're so much bigger than him, me, but he was choking me out, EM, come on dude, you've got to be more mature about this, me, what do you expect me to do, apologize to him for making him choke me, this whole thing goes on for a while until the neighbors step in, to try to protect me, N1, OP really didn't do anything wrong. N2, yeah, he didn't even hit him that hard. EM, but OP shouldn't be hitting people in the first place. Especially not my son, yes, she actually said especially not my son. 
N2, but it was basically a trade off, D, E, M, why are you guys trying to protect him, you should probably go inside, you don't know what you're talking about, they keep trying to help me out, but to no avail, this just goes around for another 5 minutes before EK finally gets up and limps, yes, limps back to his house, I go home cause I'm sick of this shit and I'm tired. The next day, I try go back over, but the EK is there already, neither of his parents cars are there, so I assume that he's staying at the neighbor kid's house, until they come back, I decide to go back inside, because I don't want to interact with him. A couple hours later, EK shows up at our door with his mom standing at gate of our fence. EK, um, hi OP, I was just coming over to say sorry for choking you yesterday, I won't ever do it again. Me, uh, okay, thanks, I'm sorry that I punched you. At this point, my mom comes to see who I'm talking to, and she asks what's going on. EM pipes up and says, EM, we are here for your forgiveness gift. Me, my what? EM, your forgiveness gift, it's a tradition in our family that the person who apologizes last has to give the other person something to make up for it. My mom, excuse me, what's going on? I explain what happened, and as I explain what happened, she seems to get more and more disgusted by the situation. I finish explaining, and turn back to EK who had tried to correct my story, while I was explaining it to my mom, saying things like, he punched me twice in the face, and then kicked me in the nuts, while I was crying on the ground my mom is basically a bomb sniffing dog for lies, so I can see from her face, that she knows that's bullshit. I turn back to EK. My mom, I'm sorry but we don't do forgiveness gifts in this family. EM, we do in this one. EK, pick something out. EK looked around and saw my PS4 and he points at it. EK, mommy, I want that. Keep in mind that this kid is just about a year younger than I am. Too old for mommy, too old for this whole situation in my opinion. EM walks up to our door and sees it's my PS4. EM, great, we'll take that as our gift. My mom, with steam blowing out of her ears, slams the door in their faces and quickly locks it. They start pounding on the door so hard that it sounds like they are trying to break it down. We leave the door, but they stay there pounding on the door for at least another 5 minutes before finally leaving. I still leave my neighbor's house anytime I see him walking down the block. That's the story, I understand that it was super long may not be as high stakes, or entertaining as some of the other stories here, but thanks for reading, if you got this far, edit, holy shit, I never expected this kind of story to blow up, thank you so much guys, edit 2, I don't know who you are, but thank you for silver, I had no idea, that this would get so popular, so thanks to everyone again, last edit, I promise. Sweet fuck boys, golden plat, no way. Thank you all so much for this, this is really kind of amazing.